Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this open shot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do jump cuts, but also J cuts and L cuts as well. Now, if you're not familiar with what a jump cut is, it's basically removing parts of your video that you don't want to be there. Like you had empty spaces, you made mistakes, or you said oohs and ums, or basically anywhere you want to remove parts of your videos and to make sure it's edited well and it's a lot cleaner and tighter than having all of those things left in there so that's like the general principle and whenever you're doing jump cutting you're actually cutting from one scene in your clip to another and it's quite often very sudden or at least it seems sudden whenever it's done editing so let's go ahead and check out how to do the very simple standard jump cut first so what i've done here is i brought my clip down to my project timeline and the first thing you want to do is make sure your clip is selected then right click on your mouse and then on display show waveform and what this is going to do is it's actually going to show your audio waveform for your clip and so the reason you want to do this is you could actually see where you have parts in your audio where there are pauses and so that way you know where to cut instead of trying to figure that out by listening to the audio itself so let's just say right here i have this empty space right here you could do a cut right now on this part so it cut from this part to this part so all you have to do is go up here to your razor tool and we'll do a very simple cut right there then we'll do a cut right here and i'm also going to remove some space right here okay so we have two different cuts and now i'm going to select these places that i don't want to be there press delete do the same thing here and then you're going to move your clips over so now you have a jump cut from one part of your clip to another part so let's go ahead and check that out um, Levius is a so a jump from there and then we'll go here and we'll do our second jump cut here and it's a so as you can see it's very easy to do 12 episodes and it's a and at the same time, it definitely breaks things up because I like the fact that whenever you are doing jump cuts, quite often it makes people pay attention because your video just changed really quick and abrupt. And at the same time, if you did have any parts in your video where you're speaking, you made a mistake or whatever, people won't see that, you know? And so this is probably the easiest way to do jump cuts. And this is the one that I use the most. Now you could definitely get more sophisticated where a lot of people put in a bunch of jump cuts and some people like that, some people don't. And so it really depends on the style that you're looking for. But you could use jump cuts to great effect. And this way, the standard jump cut is the simplest way to do that. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at J cuts. And so this might sound kind of weird, but as I show you this, it's going to make a lot more sense. But the general principle with the J cut is the audio of the second clip is going to come in before you see the video. Now, in this case, we're going to do something a little bit different we're actually going to separate the audio from your clips. So here we're going to make sure our clip is selected. Then we're going to right click and we're going to separate audio and you can just do single clip and it's going to separate the audio and you do the same thing on your second clip once this one is done. So I'm going to separate this one as well. Okay. And you could definitely use the multiple clips as well. If you just select multiple clips and then separate audio multiple clips. So uh, that's another way you could do that. So now you notice that you can see both your video clip and the audio clip. And they're separate. They're on two different tracks. Now if you wanted to move things around together. All you have to do is select the clip. And then press the control down and select the audio clip. And now you can move it around. So uh, that's going to be important if you have a whole bunch of different clips. So now let's go ahead and get to what a J cut is. So it basically is going to put this second clip's audio and bring it in first before you see the video. So the easiest way to do that is on your clip that you're coming from, you could actually shorten this. So make sure it's selected. And then we'll just go ahead and drag this clip over to the left as such. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring in your audio clip right here. Now, why is it called a J cut? Well, if you look really closely, this is a J. So you see that 
that is in the shape of a J. That is why they call it a J cut. And so now if we watch this, it's going to transition from this clip to this clip, but we're going to hear the audio before seeing the video. So we'll go ahead and play this. And then the video comes in. And so that is kind of odd, but depending on the types of clips you have, you could really create some cool cuts with this. So if I were to bring this a little bit closer and have the video come in a little bit earlier, it'll just look a little bit better than what I had before. So we'll go ahead and play this again. And then the audio comes in and then you saw the video. Now there are ways you can make this a little bit smoother. Uh, you can use a fade transition if you want. So if you go to your transitions, you could pull down this fade and just bring it right here. And you can adjust how long you want the fade. And then for the audio, you could also have it come in gradually as well. Select the audio clip, right click on your mouse. And then for the volume at the start of the clip, you could fade in. So you can fade in fast or slow. So let's do a fade in fast. And so we'll go ahead and see how this works. So that is definitely another way you could do that. And typically this works better if you don't have any dead space in your audio from the original clip. You just bring this in and we'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to shorten this. And this snapping tool is on so it is stick together. If you don't want to do that, you could click on the snapping tool so it doesn't always try to, you know, snap these two clips together. So now I'm going to bring this over here. Bring in my fade. So let's see how this looks like. Subscribe. And then it fades in. So as with the other cut you saw earlier, you could definitely experiment and you know just change things up or try different ways in which you could end your previous clip over to the next one. But the principle is still the same with the J cut. The audio is going to come in first before you see the video. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the last one we have, and that is an L cut. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now an L cut is very similar to a J cut, except it's the opposite. So in this case, instead of the audio coming in first, the video is going to come in first. And so let me show you how this works. So here we have our previous clip, but in this case, we're going to move the video portion back a little bit and now we're going to bring in the second clip video first so in this case whenever you play this the audio from the original clip is still going to play and then the video comes in for the second clip so let's go ahead and watch this so as you can see there it was very similar to the j cut and the reason why this is called an l cut is because it's in the shape of an l so that's really easy to understand once you see it and you can have a lot of fun with this you know and as i stated earlier you can use a variety of different transitions or even effects if you wanted to to gradually come into the second scene but all of these different cuts that i show you it could really add more creativity to your videos and at the same time it also keep people paying attention to the story that you're trying to tell so if you actually had any thoughts on this be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my open shot tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.